In just a few short years, drones have gone from a geeky hobbyist toy to a full-on cultural phenomenon. They're everywhere now, and they're available in a variety of styles depending on what you're planning on doing with them. To help you find the right one, we put together a definitive list of the best drones on the planet right now. So without further ado, here's the cream of the crop. The Typhoon H takes our top spot simply because it offers the most bang for your buck. It's less expensive than DJI's Phantom 4, plus it boasts a few features that the DJI simply doesn't have. For starters, the Typhoon H boasts all the fancy autonomous flight modes you could ever dream of. There's watch me, follow me, selfie mode, cable cam, orbit, and even dual pilot mode. Add that to the fact that it's equipped with a 360 degree swiveling 4K camera, retractable landing gear, and obstacle avoidance, and you've got a drone that can film anything, anywhere. To top it all off, the Typhoon H comes with a dedicated touchscreen controller. That means you can use the drone and watch a live video feed from the camera, even if you don't have a tablet or smartphone attached to the controller. Some people will tell you that beginner pilots should cut their teeth on lower end drones that aren't as costly when you crash them. But in our expert opinion, it's a smarter idea to start out with a slightly nicer drone with reliable, responsive controls, a decent warranty, and a design that's easy to repair or upgrade. DJI's lowest level Phantom 3, called the Standard, is a fantastic choice for this. It's relatively cheap, but not so cheap that you'll be encouraged to fly carelessly. It also has a pretty decent camera on the undercarriage, and it's compatible with a wide range of aftermarket accessories. If you start with this drone, you'll be able to learn the ins and outs of piloting a quadcopter, and also be able to upgrade your setup as your skills progress and your needs change. There's a reason you see this drone showing up everywhere. It's an absolute beast. The drone itself boasts some seriously impressive specs. It has a controllable range of up to 3.1 miles, top speed of 50 miles per hour, and all the stabilization and autopilot features you could ever ask for. But the camera is definitely the star of the show. DJI's latest Zenmuse cam, the X5, is the world's first mirrorless micro four-thirds camera made specifically for aerial photography and cinematography. It shoots in 4K at 30 frames per second, takes 16 megapixel stills, and boasts a ridiculously wide ISO range. As an added bonus, this rig is cradled inside a vibration-dampened three-axis gimbal, so your footage comes out silky smooth no matter how crazily you fly. There are a boatload of mini drones out there right now that you can get for under $50, but in our experience, the vast majority of them are too squirrely and difficult to master for your average kid. Parrot's new Mambo is different though. Unlike most other mini drones, this one is actually designed specifically for kids. In addition to motion sensors and advanced autopilot software, the Mambo also comes with a handful of attachments that can make it more fun and engaging than a basic quadcopter. Inside the box, you'll find a cannon attachment, 50 foam cannonballs, and a grabber arm that can clamp and carry small objects. And the best part, Parrot also gives you the option of piloting via smartphone or via a dedicated dual joystick controller. The Flypad, as it's called, is sold separately for 40 bucks, but it's totally worth the extra dough. 